what is up guys how is everybody doing i am tiff welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome make sure you're subscribed so you know when all my future readings come out this is going to be a general reading it's not going to resonate for everybody take what resonates leave what doesn't don't force it to fit your situation if you would like a personal all that information is in the description box below let's get right into this i don't know why that song by fleetwood mac you know shit players only love you when they're playing mm, women they will come and they will go but when the this came up before though but the parts that that's sticking out is players only love you when they're playing you know what i'm saying so is somebody playing with you Nah, you have somebody here that was your official person, okay? You was their main person and they were your official person. You felt like this was your person. Regardless of what happened, what y'all went through, you felt deep down inside this was your person, right? But, see, the thing is, either this person was wealthy or they have money and they think they're the shit and that they're on top of the world, or... This person all of a suddenly, yeah, that's what happened. This person all of a suddenly came into some unexpected income, okay? And it was through either a gift or something through the courthouse. It could have been an inheritance, okay? Because we do have the family room right, right there, okay? So you were dealing with somebody, this was your official person. This is the person that you loved, okay? And this person all of a sudden, unexpectedly, became wealthy, okay? They got some unexpected income. It was a gift, something through the courthouse, probably um, a house, some kind of inheritance, okay? Maybe they ended up having to move in order to find this out or to get their money. Oh, yeah, um, this could have been an inheritance from somebody, mom, dad, grandparents, somebody that had money, okay? And this person is very, very concerned. They're very, very worried. I feel like this could be you, though. It's because, and now, if you're the one that just came into some money, okay, take it and reverse it. But somebody here just came into, somebody was somebody else's official person here. Okay, and then all of a sudden, through court, through something, through inheritance, somebody got them a nice, healthy, unexpected income and maybe an inheritance and maybe a house. And now it has somebody else over here really worried, really, really concerned because they feel like now that this person is on their feet and they have all their shit together and they got their inheritance, they got this house, that now this person's going to move away. Now this person's going to change and not want them anymore, right? But that's not the truth here. Even if they had to move, they want to make you, this privileged lady, ride along with them. These are counterparts, right? The wealthy man and the privileged lady. They want you to come up right along with them. But somebody is scared. Somebody is scared that if this person does come up and get this inheritance and this gift, because somebody is, Whoever you were dealing with, somebody that you were in an official relationship with, they're getting a settlement. They're getting some unexpected income. They might even inherit a house, okay? And they're going to be set. They're going to be I, right. And it's going to leave just somebody just so fucking scared that this person is going to move out. Like if this person lives with you or needed you in the past, move away from you, leave you behind, okay, with this distance horizons. But that's not the truth here. I feel like this person wants to make you, who was their main female, who was the main person, okay, the official person just like them, a privileged lady too. I don't feel like this person wants to leave you behind. I feel like this is something that's scaring somebody thinking that, well, they're finna get this money. They're finna get all this. They're going to leave me behind. But nah, because at the end of the day, they know that all these other people that's going to attach themselves to this, their energy now that they got something ain't real. And they know that you have always been there for them. 
okay? With the in reverse, you ain't never taken from them. You've always been there for them. You've always been a backbone for them. You've always had their back. Somebody that could be dealing with somebody that's in prison with judication and imprisonment, okay? That you might even have a child with, all right? But you even, like, this isn't part for eight for everybody. This is very specific. But somebody might have even stayed down for somebody while they were locked up, while they were in prison, while they were going through judicial issues, right? You know, they might have been stealing out, doing shit that they weren't supposed to. But no, nah, you were still always there for them, not wanting anything from them. And so that's why, like, even if they get out, like, somebody else could be, like, even if they're in jail, somebody's scared that they might get out and then just leave somebody behind, but that's not happening, okay? Um, this person really is wanting to make you a privileged lady right, right along with them, okay? Yeah, yeah, you're, you're heavily on their mind. You're heavily on their mind. And they're very, very, it's like you're so very, very scared that this person is being fake because they could even be telling you when I get this settlement, when I get this money, if I come up, we're going to be all right. But this really has somebody scared that they're faking, but they're not. Look at that courtship. They want to take you along with it. And, it, and with this courtship, this isn't a, a dating to me pertaining to this. This is, y'all know each other. Y'all done dated for a while. They know who you are. This ain't getting to know each other. These ain't fake ass people latching on into their energy now that they got something. They know you. And you're very, very deep in their thoughts. They're sitting back. They're working. They're thinking about the things that might be coming into their life. And they're thinking about you. And what's that thought? Marriage. Making you their privileged lady right along with this motherfucking wealthy male. They're making, they want, they want to make you the prince lady right along with them. They want to marry you. And they know this is your expectation. They know you're concerned about this. They know that, that, that this has you worried. They know this is your expectation. And they're going to surprise you with that because this is what they want. You might think they're going to go and latch on to all these other people that are going to be all wanting to be in their energy because now they got something. No, nah, hell no. Nah. They're going to be looking at them people like, where were you then? No, nah, this person was there for me. Right? This person waited around for me and was there for me. This person ain't never going to have to work a day in their motherfucking life again. This person ain't never going to have to worry about shit ever again. This person ain't never going to have to be in poverty again. Why? Because I done came into this great fortune. And I'm going to bring this, this privileged lady, this person that went through it all, right along with me. This person that motherfucking is going to said, no matter what we go through, good, bad, right, or wrong, I'm going to be there till death do us part. Till death do us part. And look, with the lover's card. Till death do us part. Set in stone. They are for you and you're for them. Main male. With the main female out here. Oh yeah, aligning with their path, with, with the right pathway. They're, they're receiving something from an older woman or somebody that done passed away. But it's aligning them right here in onto this pathway. They'll receive a message about this. And they're going to be like, damn, I'm never going to have to work again. Like, like whatever is happening, it's putting you on the, this beautiful pathway. And it's going to come in the, in the way of a message. And it's like, your person's going to be over here like, damn, I never have to work again. Look, house. Inher inheriting a house. Mm, 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 mm. Mature man, maybe grandparents, okay, that are passing away here. But they, they hold you at very, very high honor. And they're not going to leave you behind just because they come into a little bit of money. Just because they come up. Just because now so they're getting this inheritance. Hell no, they're not leaving you behind. They're taking you with them. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, then they they're taking you with them. Let me get a couple of these spirit. What's going on with this? Somebody's coming into some key on a ring. 
Oh yeah, somebody is scared that this person is going to end up with a lot of options because and end up being strung along because this person is coming to this money. But this person is like, nope, 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 nope. I'm not going to sabotage this connection at no more. I am actually going to work on it. I am finally repairing myself. And I'm going to rebuild this. I'm going to be persistent. I'm not going to change. No, I'm not going to charm this person. I'm not going to use this person. I'm not going to enable this person. But somebody is really, 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 really scared because this person has been codependent on you for a very, very long time. They've needed your help for a very, very long time, but yet they've had an emotional block. They've never truly showed like love or like stability, like, oh, it's us forever. They've never actually showed that to you. So it has you feeling like, you know, I'm being charmed or used until this person gets their shit together. But this person, and also thinking like, you know, I'm going to end up sad. This person's going to end up leaving me. I'm going to end up sad missing this person, you know. And look, uncertain future because you don't know what the future holds. But this person, no, nah, they holding that hammer. They're not willing to sabotage this anymore. They are going to work on this. They are going to repair this. Look, fear of abandonment. Somebody is very scared that somebody's going to end up abandoning them when they come up. But, but they're not, bro. I really don't feel like they are. Yeah, scared that, scared that something prettier, something better, something younger, something... A more attractive is going to come along and tempt this person because now they're going to have their shit together. But see, you're the motherfucking butterfly. You're the butterfly. And at this point, this person has evolved. They have grown. And they're ready to move into the next, next phase and release this past, okay? They are already, look, grown and transformed. What's dead is dead. What's happened in the past has happened in the past, okay? They're evolving. They're growing. They're moving into the next stage, and they're releasing the, the past. Yeah, if there was anybody else ever that was involved in your connection, they're leaving that behind, too. They're leaving anything karmic behind. They're, they're, they, they don't care anymore. But somebody is so, so scared that when this person comes into this money and they get their shit together, that this person is going to leave them behind. Death. Leave them heartbroken. You know what I'm saying? Let me see, spirit. What's going to happen? Let me, let me get some of these. Hold on. Let's get some of these. What's going to happen here, spirit? What's going to happen when this person comes into this money spirit? What's going to happen when this person comes into this money spirit? What's going to happen when this person comes into this money spirit? Ancestors and guides. Ooh. The Knight of Swords. Arguments, conflicts. Driven, defensive, events that move with great speed, choose intellectual responses to challenges rather than emotion, sudden or unexpected changes. Okay, so they will be reviewing their options carefully. They will probably have like a choice to make and this is what's going to make you scared because they will end up having op options. I feel like as soon as they come into this money, your whole life is going to change. Like everything, the dynamic, it's it's just going to change, okay? Um, spirit really doesn't want you to become emotional or feel like any of this is personal, okay? Uh, yeah, because there, there's a, this is about to be a time of great success for the both of you guys with the sun, okay? And there's going to be so much for you to send gratitude to the divine, the magical opportunities that are coming, a time of joy and happiness. Everything is going to work out perfectly, okay? And you know this. Intuitively, you know this. Unity with a spiritually minded person. Ask the divine for help. Compare traditional message. 
But this is then you intuitively you know. You know this person. Even if they were just to go off and enjoy their money for about a week or bullshit for a minute, that that ultimately you're their son, you're their happiness. But I don't think that's gonna happen. They're gonna push everybody else off like fleas, like roaches. And they're gonna want to enjoy this success and enjoy this fucking happiness with you. No bullshit. And it's going to be so fast, so unexpected. But that's, that's who they want to do this with. Mm-hmm. All right. That's what I have for you guys. If that resonates at all, comment below. Let me know. Until next time, loves. Peace.